of applications As the light on the camp of the mess of my heart Here we go Churning customers is a normal thing. Um, I mean, even for Rapid Miner, you, I, I know it's hard to believe, but it does happen. We lose a customer or two, like uh, maybe from time to time, very seldomly, of, of course, but it happens. So that is not the problem, but you should be aware of when this is going to happen, with whom, and then, of course, you, you want to know what, what you need to do about this. So let me help you on this. Uh, let's set up another call. We, we figure it out. Okay, buddy? All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Ingo. Hey, Trial. Hey, you know what time it is? Of course, it's time for five minutes with Ingo. Yes. So let's talk about churn prediction for a second. I mean, you just heard it. It is a common problem, really. Um, in fact, I would say customer analytics in general is probably the most frequently um, solved well, type of data and problems people are using machine learning for. And yeah, sure, there's IoT and like sensor data and everything else, and that's all very important. But customer analytics probably is still like 60, 70 percent of, of the overall data science uh, work most people are doing. And within customer analytics, there's a couple of different problems. One of them is predicting who are the customers you are going to lose. And that is exactly this kind of churn prediction problem. And that is important. Why? Because Getting a customer or replacing a customer back by a new one is actually a very expensive thing versus keeping a customer you already have. So it's so much better to keep actually your existing customers versus having the need for replacing them over and over again. And that is why you should be aware who are your customers who are most likely to leave, who will have the most, highest likelihood of churn, Point one. And then, of course, also, you should figure out what is the best course of action so you can actually, um, well, do the right things. So, um, first of all, this actually sounds not immediately like a machine learning problem. So, how do we transform this business use case here into a machine learning problem or a, problem, a machine learning algorithm, really? And you might remember in the first season, we talked about the four main categories of machine learning. Um, one is for classification, one is regression. Uh, classification is basically putting things into different groups. Regression is uh, answering the question, how many things will happen? One is around clustering or segmentation. So what are the natural groups in your data? And one is about recommendations or figuring out what are the things which go together. So those are the four main categories and churn actually falls into the category of classification. That means that you have two groups of customers and we know those two groups, the loyal customers who stay with us and the customers who are looking into the offers of competitors or might want to think about like getting rid of this offer altogether. So those are the churn customers. So we have two groups, loyal versus churn customers, and we want to separate those two groups and that is the typical application area of a classification algorithm. So in a sense this is very very similar to the pieces here, the pawns on this chessboard. We have the white pawns here and let's say those are the customers who are not loyal, they are, they are more likely to churn. So we want to identify those and then we have our loyal customers on this side of the chessboard and we really would like to, to identify differentiators between those two groups. So um, let's actually use some machine learning here, thank you. So for example, the linear regression scheme uh, using this little stick here, you could far, for example find a model separating those two groups, then finding out who are the customers most who are, who are far away, basically on this side of the linear regression model, basically saying like, oh look, those are people here, they are more likely to churn, so you should try and do something about them. So that's how you transform churn into a classification problem, and then you can solve the classification problem basically with any machine learning method you could think about. But Ingo, yeah. are there any machine learning algorithms that are better for churn prediction? Um, well, yes and no. So in general you can use any machine learning model, as I just said, you can use for classification, but um, there is one thing which is important. You need to figure out what you want to do afterwards. And this is the thing. If you have a linear regression line like this, this might be something you might be still able to understand. You see what are the important factors. But those important factors, uh, influence factors of your data set, they are true for all the data points. But what about this dude here? I mean, he is about to churn and the model doesn't really tell you right away what is the pr reason for this particular individual. So, and there are other machine learning methods which are maybe a little bit better for this. So, for example, decision trees, they are easy to understand and you can follow the path of the decision trees to see, well, 
why exactly is this particular person going to churn? And if you know the reasons for this particular person, you can do something about this. You can give them a discount so they stay, or you can improve the service for this client so they actually like your products and your company even more. So, and that depends on what the problems with this client are, and that is really what other models are better for. But even for, let's say, the more fancy models like gradient booster trees or others, you can even use some techniques, for example, Lime, um, is a technique which is also available in Rapid Miner, where you can actually figure out, well, even for a model where you don't understand it, what are the main reasons for a particular individual. So even for the more complex models, which are maybe less, they don't allow you to do all the action, there is still a way to figure out, well, what's the best course of action by combining them with other techniques as well. And I guess that's it for 5 Minutes with Ingo today.